Before you start selling anything on Amazon, you've got to set up your Seller Central account. Once you have your account set up, you'll be able to select the products you want to sell, create new products, manage pricing and inventory, and much, much more. So let's walk through the various steps involved in creating an Amazon seller account so that you can start selling. Before beginning the process, make sure that you have a valid credit card and a bank statement on hand. To start, go to the Amazon homepage and click Sell on the left side of the navigation bar. On the next page, you'll see the Start Selling link. Click this if you want to start a professional seller account. With the account, you'll be charged $39.99 US dollars per month. However, you'll be able to sell an unlimited amount of products without paying any extra fees. If you only plan on selling a few products a month, you may want to opt in for an individual seller account. You can select this account by scrolling down and hitting the link labeled Sign Up to Become an Individual Seller. With this account, you'll be charged 99 cents for every sale you make. Next, you'll need to enter your name, email, and desired password. Once you've done that, hit Next. At this point, Amazon's going to ask you to verify your email address. Just navigate to your email address, open the email from Amazon, copy that code, paste it back into Amazon, and click Verify. On the next page, you'll need to enter your legal name. After putting in your name, click the box that you agree to the terms and conditions and hit next. Now you'll need to enter your business address. If you have a business or an LLC, use the address associated with your business. After you enter your address, you'll need to enter your business display name. Amazon doesn't allow two businesses to have the same name, uh, so you may have to try several options before you find one that's available. If you already have an online store, then you can enter the URL next. If you don't have a website for your products, then you can just skip this step. Next, you need to verify your phone number. To do this, select whether you want to receive your verification code via SMS or through a phone call. For the next page, you're going to need to enter your credit card number and your banking information. Keep in mind that the credit card you enter will be the one that's charged for your monthly subscription fee. And the bank account you enter will be the account that Amazon deposits your earnings to. Once all the information has been entered, agree to the terms and services and click Next. The next part of the application requires you to submit your tax information. To begin the process, click Start. For the first question, you'll need to answer whether you're an individual or you're a business. Next, indicate whether or not you're a U.S. citizen. Then you'll need to select what type of beneficial owner you are. Choose the option from the list that best describes you. Finally, fill out your tax information, including the name of your organization and the mailing address of your business. If you're an American citizen, you'll also need to enter an EIN number. Be creative and come up with a unique name that matches the products you plan to sell. If you don't already have one, simply search EIN IRS on Google to find the page on the IRS website about it. Open the page and follow the steps to get your EIN number. Once all of this is complete, sign your form and submit your information. All right, the application process is now complete. You've just taken your first steps towards becoming an Amazon seller. Then enter your phone number. Once your phone number is entered, click call me now or text me now. Enter the code you receive and click next to continue. Your Seller Central account is now under review and you'll be notified once it's approved. Congratulations and good luck with your business.